Find thousands of local jobs right at your fingertips at Kelloland Employment. Search, research area employers, even create job email alerts. Your job search just got easier with Kelloland Employment at Kelloland.com. We check in with the Smithfield workers about not going to the plant for more than a week as the CDC releases its report to keep employees safe. And a sudden change of plans for this weekend's races. We'll let you know what you can expect. Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to our top stories in just a moment. But first, let's send it over to meteorologist Brian Carstens for a check of our weather. All right, Matt, as we look at weather as we start the weekend, scattered showers continue to be possible. As we look at the latest here, as we bring up future cast, those spots in Minnesota continue to drift away. New areas could sprout in the west this afternoon. Even Sioux Falls could generate a couple of isolated areas of rain. I think tomorrow there's a little better focus late tonight, early tomorrow along the Missouri River and then eventually the James River Valley. That little strip of green represents that. And Sioux Falls could be the recipient of more showers or even an isolated thunder shower tomorrow. So something there to keep in mind as we start the weekend. 60s today out there, 58 Rapid City. We'll have your full forecast in just a few minutes. Thanks a lot, Brian. South Dakota's case count continues to climb, but the numbers aren't all bad. More than 1,000 South Dakotans have recovered from COVID-19. And that means they haven't had symptoms or a fever for more than three days. Here's a look at the latest case count. There are now more than 1,900 positive tests. Less than 900 are still active. A majority of yesterday's new cases are in the Sioux Falls area, where there are now more than 1,700 positive cases. More than 800 of the cases in Minnehaha and Lincoln counties are still active. Statewide, over 1,000 people have recovered after testing positive for COVID-19. More than 1,000 cases of COVID-19 are linked are now linked to Smithfield Foods. That includes 801 workers and 206 people they had close contact with. It is in the state's only meatpacking plant that's seeing cases. Nine workers have tested positive at Demkota Ranch Beef in Aberdeen. It's news meatpacking plants in South Dakota and across the country have been waiting for. Yesterday, the CDC released a 15-page report on its visit to Smithfield Foods. It takes a closer look at conditions at the Sioux Falls plant and includes several pages of recommendations to keep employees safe. The suggestions range from staggering shifts and start times to adding more hand washing and sanitizing stations. The report also suggests changing incentive programs so employees aren't penalized for taking sick time. You can read the full report right here on Kelloland.com. The Sioux Falls AFL-CIO president communicates with Smithfield employees and their union representative. Cooper Carraway says workers are eager to get back on the job. So they're eager to go back into work, but the priority is to make sure they're not going back into the same workplace that they left. We want them to make sure, we want to make sure they're going back into a workplace that's much safer, uh, much more accommodating, a little bit more innovative uh, to adapt to the new uh, reality that we're all in. According to its website, Smithfield Foods is closed until further notice. Park Jefferson Speedway is set to host live racing on Saturday, but will run the Open Wheel Nationals without spectators. The venue holds 4,000 fans, but sold only 700 tickets to help maintain social distancing, though Governor Christy Nome asked people not to attend the event. After discussing the matter, race promoters closed the gates to fans. We answered their questions, worked with them. I know a Department of Health team uh, communicated with them often, and I appreciate their willingness to make this decision and do what's best for the public. The event will be available on pay-per-view, and fans who bought tickets will get a refund. Brian? All right, as we look at your weekend forecast, well, it looks a little warmer for next week. We'll have those details in a second. First today and tomorrow, there's still an area of rain showers possible across eastern South Dakota. More focused on Saturday. The west, I don't expect as much. And I think right now, this area of low pressure will move out of the picture here for Sunday. Warming up early next week. In fact, a great pattern to be enjoying some fresh air outdoors. I think temperatures well into the 70s by Monday. The next thing to keep an eye on is next Tuesday. There is a system advertised to move into the plains. That could be a little more of an organized chance of rain here, which, well, looking at the statistics so far, 
we're running below normal for April moisture. That uh, is definitely a big change of pace. We'll continue to follow that. 63 high today, Sioux Falls, 69 in Aberdeen. We're looking at your seven day forecast in those 70s, likely here by Monday. And then if we get some rain chances by Tuesday, that could impact our temps a little into the 60s. We may kick up the wind too at that point in time. Aberdeen in the northeast, low 60s tomorrow, but back to the upper 60s Sunday, and it looks like 70s very likely early next week. Pier will have no trouble at all hitting 70s as early as Sunday, and that likely continues at least through Monday of next week. Rapid City too, much warmer early next week. Nice to see that spring weather, guys. All right, thanks, Brian, and thanks for joining us for Kelo Land on the Go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelo Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on KelloLand.com. Now go have a great day.